and swatch of the new Misha Painting Rouge in Matte. Now I have all 11 shades for you guys today, so you should be excited, but I'm going to do my review first and then I'll do my swatches at the end. So one of the things I found is that they're not really the same. It definitely varies shade to shade. So while some of them wear really well and feel kiss proof, other ones are really not that kiss proof and definitely transfer. And while some of them are super pigmented and don't go on streaky at all, others do kind of end up looking streaky. Overall, what I found out from the wear of these is that they are really comfortable on the lips. They did not dry my lips out even though this is a matte so it does dry down. I can say these are definitely not as long lasting as brands like Jeffree Star, like ColourPop, etc. So let me get into my lip swatch today. I'm going to swatch it and then I'll tell you what I thought about that color if I thought it was streaky and I'll do a kiss proof test for every single one. So you'll know what colors are really great and what colors aren't. Now this first color is BE01, it's called Think of You. When you first look at it in the bottle, it looks kind of like a dusty rose pink, but on the lips, it looks a little bit more like a terracotta. I feel like it warms up as it dries. Little transfer. This next shade is CR02, it's called Say Cheese. Now this shade right here is more of a burnt red coral. It's not exactly a red and it definitely isn't a super bright color. I know it looks brighter on camera but remember I am really pale so colors then tend to look a little darker and brighter on my skin tone. This one has really little transfer. Now this next color is the color that everyone had a load of comments about wanting to know what shade I was wearing on my lips and that is OR01 Be Brave. So this shade does go on a little streak here, but it is easily layered so that it looks a little bit more opaque. Now this shade is definitely an orangey red. It pulls a little bit more orange, but on my skin tone, I feel like it does end up looking red. I feel like if you have tan skin, this will look a lot more orange on your skin. This shade has a little bit more transfer than most, and it does end up taking a little longer to dry. However, it's one of my favorite shades from the whole collection. This next shade is OR02 called Without You. So Without You is definitely to me a true red, a Marilyn Monroe red, and I love it. It goes on really smoothly, it goes on really opaquely, and it's just a beautiful red color. There is very little transfer at all. So this shade is RD02, it's called Look At Me. This is your true blood red. It's a little bit more blue based, but it is absolutely gorgeous and it is definitely something I bust out every now and then. I actually get a lot of compliments with this one as well. I had someone tell me once that I couldn't wear true reds, but <laughs> sucka, still gonna wear it. This one also transfers a little bit more color so pretty. This next shade is RD01. It's called Fall in You. Now this shade is more patchy than the previous shades. So compared to RD02, this shade is lighter and I would say more blue based. So this one only transferred where it was still drying but it does leave a slight pink hue on the hand. So the next shade is CR01 in my pouch. Now in my pouch is definitely a beautiful beautiful peach but it does apply a lot streakier than the other ones and one of the reasons why is because to get such a bright color they probably used a white base. When you look up close you can really see those streaks but from far away it's a really pretty peach warm summer color. There's a little transfer in some areas that aren't dry yet but once it's fully dry it's pretty much kiss proof. So this next shade is a special only to the Calgary Girl limited line that Nisha has going on. It's called Pink Pattaya and it is a Barbie pink. It's more of a warm Barbie pink and I love it. I think it is so pretty. This one, no transfer. So this next shade is PK01, Call Me Sugar. It's like Pink Pattaya's blue based sister. So this is a really pretty bright pink color. I think it is quite beautiful. It goes on a little more streaky than pink pataya, but you can easily take care of that with just a little extra layering. There is 
very, very little transfer. It's really not that much at all. So this next shade is PK02. It's called Love Me More. Now although this is supposed to be a PK, aka a pink, I would definitely say this is more towards the plum side. It applies really smoothly with no streaks. So this definitely has a little bit of transfer. It's not goopy transfer, but it does transfer. Now this last color, I could not actually find the code for it, but it is called Makeup Crazy, and it is the most purple shade, and the only shade that I didn't have a code for. So this shade is a really bright purple, not unlike Zipper from ColourPop. It's really, really beautiful, and it goes on very smoothly and not very streaky. So again, some of the purple transfers, but again, it's not that goopy transfer. It's kind of like a stain. So because I know sometimes color swatches are hard to tell what the difference between the colors are, I'm going to show you some comparative swatches also. So here are the swatches of Pink Pattaya, PK01, PK02, and Makeup Crazy. So here you can see why I say this one is a warm toned and this one is more cool toned. You can also see why this one comes across a little bit more plum and how beautiful this purple is. Mm. And here are the reds. So here we have Be Brave OR01. You can definitely see it is an orange. Then you have OR02, the one I said which was my Marilyn Monroe Beautiful True Red. And you can see how it is warmer than RD01 right here. This one definitely has more of a blue blaze when you look at it in natural light, especially when you sheer it out. You can see a blue undertone because your lips look a little pink. This is that gorgeous blood red I was talking about that I absolutely love. And this one right here is the one I was talking about that looks like a burnt red slash kind of a coral. You can see how it is not as bright as the other ones. As you guys can see from the swatches, not all of the shades are created equal, not all of them swatch beautifully, not all of them are kiss proof. But overall, I feel like they are really comfortable wear and for only being $10, I feel like that they're not that bad. So some of the pros for me, the first one is I really like the formula of it. It's more of a moussey formula, so when you apply it, it goes on really, really smoothly, and it also doesn't dry down super fast like the ColourPop ones, so it's really easy to layer and build up color without it getting chunky and gross. Another pro for me is I really like the bold, bright colors. I think they did a really, really good job of making them incredibly opaque and gorgeous. I also really like how comfortable they feel on your lips throughout the day. Normally when I wear ColourPop or Stila Liquid lipsticks or even the or the Lime Crime ones, my lips feel really dry, especially with the Lime Crime and the ColourPop. But with these ones, they feel really comfortable. They also are really easy to reapply. So when you do go out to eat and you do end up eating off the area in the middle, it applies really, really nicely. So some of the cons for me, it's not as long lasting as a lot of the liquid lipsticks I have. You do start to lose a little bit in the middle, but for the fact that they're only about 10,000 won, which goes for about nine US dollars, I honestly feel like that's not a bad thing for such a cheap liquid lipstick. Another con for me is the fact that they do transfer under sweat or wetness. This is not something you'll be able to wear to the pool and have it stay all day when you're in the water, out of the water, or sweaty. It's going to transfer. When you take bites of things, you're gonna get that transfer on your chin, which we all love. I think for something that they released in the summer, that is one aspect they definitely should have worked on is to make it basically really summer proof because if I'm going to be sweating, I'm not going to want a bright color to be stuck right here. I'm also a little down on Misha for the fact that they advertised this as completely kiss proof when, as you guys saw, not all of them are. I think if you're going to make something advertised as kiss proof, they should all be kiss proof. So that is all of the 11 shades I own and it's all I have for you guys today. I'm actually going to go eat some dinner and I'm going to dye my hair and don't worry, I'm not dyeing it a super crazy color. So as always, if you haven't checked out my Instagram yet, I highly suggest you do. I post a lot of pictures from my life here in Korea. It's one of the great ways to get to see what I'm doing. Also, feel free to add me on Snapchat. My Snapchat is the same as my Instagram, the Dutch one forever. Get it? Get it? I hadn't been using Snapchat, but I think I'm going to use it a lot more lately because I think it's a great way for me to really be able to not only interact with you guys more, but for you guys to see what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis and how crazy I can sometimes be. And for those of you who are going to ask, because sometimes you guys do, and I know I'm going to forget by the time you guys ask, 
the color I'm wearing on my lips that you could see without the pink stain underneath at the very beginning of the video is this right here. It's called Juicy Peach and it's by The Face Shop. So that's it and goodbye. Hey everyone, so I have another review for you which you have been asking for and that is for the new Laneige Pore Control Cushion. Now this is the one that has the 8 shades in Korea and the 12 shades in the USA. They have a pore control and they have a whitening. I ended up going for the pore control because it is summer here in Korea and it does get a little oily in my T-zone now, now that it's summer and I'm now combination.